a lot of people were saying, you know what, when I was like 30, like 35 saying, you know, you might want to think about doing something else before you end up living in a cardboard box because, you know, (laughs) I hate progressing, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, But I just, you know, I just made up my mind saying, no, this is going to happen. And I think the trigger point for me was when I heard somebody kind of criticize, they insulted kind of my ability as a cyclist and it was humiliating. I was completely like a, a, a director had said that I couldn't climb worth, excuse my language, couldn't climb worth shit, right? You know, and that just stuck with me. And, and then I just thought, you know what? I'm going to show them, right? In the following year, wow. you know, I I basically moved from Vancouver to Vernon. It's more hilly here. I hired a climbing coach. I came back about 10 pounds lighter and I started climbing those mountains like never before, mm-hmm. setting new records. And then all of a sudden at 38, I'm getting all these contracts, right? You know, yeah. So it, it was a tough one. It's a good, you know, a good lesson too, and message for other people that you don't have to be, you know, don't have to have a gift in anything you choose to do in order to ex- 